7 Minecraft door designs. You know, having a door in Minecraft is quite useful. You can use them to get into your house, you can use them to get out of your house, and you can use them to keep the monsters away. And most importantly, with the right amount of effort, you can also make them look very nice. So that is why I designed some doors for you guys, to take some inspiration, learn a thing or two, and so that you can also mess around with that stuff for yourself. Maybe if you're like on the mental block or something and you really want to get some fresh ideas going, here you go. So let's start with number one. This is the most simple one. It's just some spruce logs, some fences, a spruce slab, a spruce stairs, and another spruce slab. You know, this is the kind of door that you want for your very simple, basic residential house. Nothing too special because the other houses in your area are, you know, they're better, they're bigger, and they're more interesting to look at. And this one doesn't really need that much attention. So moving right along to number two. We have a little bit more going on in this door, again, with the spruce logs. The block palette that I chose is always going to be the same. It's always going to be spruce logs, you know, spruce fences and trapdoors and that kind of stuff and some uh, stone bricks as well. But you can use whatever block you like as long as, as, long as you use blocks that complement each other. And I might do another tutorial on that, on how to, you know, pick blocks that work well together. If this one gets received w really well, then I will definitely crack on with that. So definitely leave a like on this video if you found this useful. But as I said, this is a little bit more like advanced. I wouldn't say that much, but it's, it's more interesting. At least we got some, some fences here out the front and some spruce trapdoors. These trapdoors are very useful for adding a tiny amount of depth into your your door, but not going overboard like with the, the stairs, they stick around, they stick out very far. And the trapdoors are a little bit more subtle. So we got some trapdoor action going on here with some stripped spruce logs on the top of these ones. And to cover this up, I decided to go with a trapdoor here. So, you know, you don't have this, this hard edge just going from the normal spruce log to the stripped spruce log. And then, of course, we have a spruce stairs on the top here to just kind of, you know, spruce things up and intended. And we have a spruce fence gate here. This is a nice trick that, that you can use. You can uh, just put a, like a fence gate somewhere, open it up, and it looks like it's connected Kind of, you can kind of see a gap in there, but if you're, if you're not looking too good, then it's fine. So then we have just some spruce fences on the side here with some lanterns hanging off from it. And I think this is, this is an okay door. If you're just going for, you know, not the very basic one, but you know, an upgrade to that, then, you know, this one should do absolutely fine. But like I said before, you can mess around with this kind of stuff and add some blocks yourself, remove some blocks or change the whole thing up. It's all up to you. This, are, this is just some tips and tricks on, you know, how you can improve on your door building style, I guess. So moving right along to number three. So if you want to do something like, you want maybe a porch or something or, you know, you don't want it to be your house to be right on the grass, then you can do something like this with the spruce log on the front here with some uh, andesite stairs, polished andesite stairs, and some polished andesite as the floor. And to cover this up again, some spruce trap doors. And this is again very simple, just again the spruce logs. And I used a little bit of a trick here with the spruce trap doors because. You can place them on any side of the block. So you can place them on the top side and you can place them on the bottom side as well. And the advantage you get when you place them on the top side is you can get really close and personal with the other blocks you're using, uh, which is not the case if you place them on the bottom side like this one, then you're going to have a large gap in between the other blocks. But for instance, this works really good if you have like a spruce fence, like this, and then some spruce slabs here and just going around like this, making this really like tight and intricate shape here. 
And that's kind of how this one works. So I hope you kind of got an idea for, for this one. Moving along to door number three. Again, this is again a little bit more simple. You know, again with uh, the logs, I, I mean, I think you get the picture now. It's, yeah, so it's two logs and then on the top here is another log. I don't know if you can see it. Let me just get rid of this. So there's a little bit of a curve going on on the, like the frame side of things. And then we have this sort of a roof thing going on here with a half slab on the top half of this one and the half slab on the bottom half of this one as well. And some trapdoor action to, I don't know, to make it more interesting or something. And again, fences, because that gives it a little bit of shape. Because, you know, shape is very important when you're building. Moving right along to door number five. So I was kind of thinking, okay, what if you have an uneven amount of blocks in your build? Then you're obviously going to have to do something like this, where you're go just going to have to put two doors in, in order to make it symmetrical. So again, spruce logs, you kind of have to think about how the blocks are laid out here. So we got some spruce st stairs here, some upside down stairs on the sides of this one, and some slabs to top it off. And again, we are using the fences with the fence gates to make it look like it's connected because these one don't these ones don't connect to the stairs, which is a bummer, but we have some lanterns hanging off from this one and some trap doors again to make it a little bit more, you know, a little bit more interesting. And we have some trap doors out the back here because yeah, we, we want to make things interesting. So I hope you have a good idea on how this one is arranged. Moving along to door number, what's it? Six, I think. Yeah, door number six. So what if you had something like a small castle where a normal door would fit, but you just wanted to do something a little bit more interesting, you know, make it look a bit, a little bit castly. Then you could do something like a little bit like this, where it's just two cobblestone, like I did here, stairs, and a cobblestone block and some upside down stairs and the same thing going on on the right side as well with some interesting action going on here so we have this one going off to the side this one going straight and this one going off to the side again so that's how that one works and these towers you know these towers are very much just to indicate that this is actually a sort of a castle type thing. This is, don't don't build this in your actual survival world, okay? <laughs> I hope you now have a feeling for how this door works. And like I said, maybe you can play around with this and see what you can come up with. Moving on to the last door already, door number seven. Let's say you actually want to build a full-on castle with a full-on castle gatehouse and some towers off the side here, then your regular doors just aren't going to cut it. You're going to need a big old gate here with a big old opening here. So what I decided to go with here is some cobblestone, just outlining this with some stairs going in between every, like if we go on the side and there's a stairs and then there's another stairs on the top as well. So just going like this, so this one is, let me see, one, two, three, four high. And then these ones are all too high with stairs on top and on the bottom. So too high again, and then just one high going horizontal. And just these stairs to make it a little bit more interesting. So there are stairs here and the full block here. I hope you get the idea. So for the inside, I decided to go with some spruce planks to give a little bit more depth to the build. So you actually have this front outline here and then some spruce, and then you could probably extend this wall out so you don't have this harsh line going on here. And some fences, you know, to kind of make it look a little bit sturdy and just kind of add to the depth as well. And you can do whatever you want with this wall. I decided to go with just some stone bricks and some battlements up on the top here. But you, like I said, you can do anything you want. And then I imagine some towers 
going off the side here or something. But this is going to have to do it for this very short and sweet building tips video. I really do hope that you got something out of it. If you did, let me know by clicking that like button. And if it gets received very well, then I will definitely do another video on maybe roofs, maybe block pallets, maybe windows or something else. I'm definitely ins inspired to keep doing this kind of stuff where I'm just helping people out, trying to build some things. I'm kind of learning myself as well. Like I said in my crafty table episodes, it doesn't really come as natural to me as to some builders. But anyway, like I said, if you did enjoy the video, click that like button and subscribe if you want more of this kind of stuff. And I will see you in the next one.